everyone, it's Heather again with today's online devotion. Um, today we are going to take a look at Ecclesiastes 4.12. So if you want to get your Bibles out and get it turned to there. Um, as If you watched the previous one of me um, doing the devotion, you know that um, I'm kind of out in nature um, for a few days. Decided to take a little break from um, the big city and escape uh, into nature just to um, listen to the Lord and talk to him and just kind of just see what he has to say to me um, and so um, let's get started this morning or today if you could be doing this in the middle of the day I don't know um, so Ecclesiastes 4 12 says though one may be overpowered two can defend themselves a cord of three strands is not quickly broken before we dive in, um, just take a minute with me so that we can pray. Lord, I just thank you and I praise you for today. Thank you for the sunshine and the air that I breathe, Lord. And I just I thank you for your creation, your world. God, I just ask now that you would just come and be with each and every person that is watching this, um, that you would just touch them, and that you would use these words um, to stir in them what you would have them to do today. Lord, I just thank you and I praise you for all that you are. It's in your name we pray, amen. All right, so many of you may have heard the phrase, um, a cord of three strands is not easily broken, or that scripture. Um, most of the time it's used at a wedding. Um, the first That's the first time I heard it, was when I was at a wedding. And the bride and groom, um, as a part of the ceremony, they tied um, a cord of three strands um, together. And it was really cool to see. Um, but most, the most impactful part um, of it was later when I went to visit them in their home. Um, and they had been married for several years, and there was this cord of three strands hanging on their wall. So lately I was reminded of this verse, and uh, God stirred in my heart to look at it a different way. While it is absolutely true that a marriage needs God, so does a family. Well, it's not everybody's family looks the same. When I was growing up, my family was just my mom and me. That was it. Um, most of my friends had a mom and a dad and one or more brothers or sisters. And many families consist of blended families or grandparents uh, raising their grandkids. No matter what your family looks like, it will be best able to ward off attacks from the enemy with God as the center. So take a walk with your family. And I've already done this, but I went out and gathered some sticks. I just wanted to show you what we're gonna, what I'm gonna ask you guys to do. Um, go for a walk with your family, look around, and each of you gather up a twig or a branch, okay? And when you get home, take one of them and Take a look, it's easily broken, isn't it? It's all by itself. But now you have two, right? Can you break those? Depending on how thick the branch is. But the more you put together, the harder it is to break. I only broke one there. So each of you take a stick and break it in half. And then take your broken sticks and bind them together. You can use string, you can use rope, you can use ribbon, you can use fishing line, whatever it is. Talk to your kids and your family about each branch and who it may represent. So in my house right now, um, there's myself and there's Mr. Kevin and there's Riley, and there's Graham. Okay, so there's four of us. Some of you may have less, some of you may have more. Tie them together, and then take turns trying to break them. I can't break them. You can break one branch easily, but the more you put together, the harder it is to break them. Now I want to ask you guys, pick up one stick that's a little bit bigger than the rest of them. Why? Because God is pretty big. 
and put that in the center of all of your sticks and tie them together. And now try to break it. It's even stronger than it was before. Ecclesiastes 4.12. The one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. And a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Let's remember during these times to stick together as a family and more importantly, to keep God in the center. Have a great day.